Hey everyone, my name is Tanya and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So for today's video, I just thought I would show you how I do my everyday makeup. Um, whether I go to, whether it's for work, whether it's for going out shopping, whether it's for running errands, that kind of thing. Now I know that obviously with lockdown happening at the minute, um, I'm actually working from home. I only go out shopping and when I need to, but even so, like sometimes I do like to put this makeup on just to make myself feel a little bit better and also i thought it'd be a super fun video to do to show you guys how i do my makeup so that is what today's video is going to be about now i have just realized that i'm actually shooting this intro after i have done my makeup um, and my lighting is a bit off so my ring light that i've got was actually over the other side um of me so I do apologise that if the lighting does look a bit dodgy throughout the video, I am working on it. Um, so hopefully next time when I do come to new, do a new video, it's all just a learning curve, you know. I've never done anything like this, so excuse me. Um, so I hope you do enjoy it and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do, I'm just going to clip my hair back. Um, so I've got it out of my face. I hate having my hair in my face when I'm ap applying makeup. So the first thing that I am going to do is make sure that my skin is primed. And for this, I am going to be using the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Face Primer. So I like to concentrate this um, around the centre of my face, around my nose, on my chin, um, just to make sure that it kind of blurs out any pores that I have. Um, and it just kind of helps to make my foundation last all day, um, which is really good. Um, so yeah, and this, if you've never tried this primer before, like this primer I think is quite a new primer. Um, but it actually feels really nice on my skin and probably one of the best primers that I've ever used. So I just like to concentrate it around the centre of my face. Um, because this is where my makeup tends to rub off the most. I also do wear glasses, so obviously I get lines here where my glasses sit and obviously lines on my nose as well, so it just helps to, you know, keep all my foundation in place and make it last throughout the day. So the next thing that we're going to go in with is a foundation. So my foundation of choice at the minute, which I'm really enjoying, is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid, and it contains SPF 15, I think. Um, this is in the shade Porcelain. Um, this shade, I think, is the lightest shade that they do, um, and it's still too dark for me. I'm really, really pale-skinned, which <laughs> it's kind of a bit of a nightmare when I'm trying to find foundations to match my skin tone match my uh, skin tone so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to buff this all into my skin it's obviously everywhere this foundation if you've never tried it um and you like a foundation that is not too heavy on the skin is a lighter medium coverage then i highly recommend that you try this one i myself have dry skin um which is a pain um but this foundation is actually really quite hydrating on my skin which is what i really like and it just kind of gives my skin a really nice air airbrushed finish you see to go in with a little bit more um and it just lasts all day as well like it's super super lightweight it doesn't feel like anything on my skin which is what i like um i hate the feeling of having anything on my skin when i'm wearing makeup so that is one of my things that I always look for in a foundation. Just making sure, sorry, I'm kind of like looking in my mirror at the same time. I have to hold my mirror quite close to my face because I'm really short-sighted. Um, but obviously I can't do my makeup with my glasses on. So, <laughs> there we go. And as you can see, it's just kind of like, just giving my skin like a really, really nice base to work with. And also, okay, also I do have like a bit of discoloration on my neck as well. So I will just go in with a couple of pumps and bring it down my neck as well just to buff it in. Um, just to kind of make everything look seamless really. The brush I'm using, if you're curious, is by Real Techniques. And it is the 
expert face brush um, and it's got, I've only recently started using this brush um, I came across it in a set and I've heard a lot about it um, from a lot of other YouTubers saying that it's actually quite a good buffing brush and do you know what they're not half wrong it is a really really nice brush okay so the next thing that I like to do after I've applied my foundation just to make sure that everything is super blended that I like to go in with a damp beauty sponge and um, this one again is by Real Techniques it's just super super soft which is what I really like and what I do is just to make sure that the foundation is properly meshed with my skin I'll just go around and just kind of press it in and also like I do find that with brushes I, I prefer to apply my foundation with a brush um, but then sometimes I find that they do leave like little streaks on my face so by kind of going in with this beauty blender beauty sponge um, it just kind of like takes away all those like lines and stuff and just makes everything look seamless and flawless you know I can't stand my foundation looking dodgy and I also kind of go around my smile lines as well like I have really I have really fine lines you probably can't see it on camera but I have really fine lines under my eyes and also like I have quite deep set smile lines as well so one of the things that I really like to do is concentrate around those areas to make sure that the foundation is super blended um, and just to make sure that um, there's going to be minimal creasing throughout the day and I always find that like by doing this it just just makes me look really not it makes my skin look really nice basically so that is the foundation done um, and I'm actually really happy with that so the next thing that I'm going to go in is with concealer. So I don't really like to wear a lot of concealer. I tend to wear the tiniest little bit under my eyes because I do have a tiny little bit of discoloration. Um, so the one that I will be using is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Concealer. And I'm in the shade 20NN. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put the tiniest little bit under my eyes. I don't like my um, concealer to like feel cakey or anything like that I like my skin when I'm applying my base makeup such as my um, concealer and my foundation I just like my skin my skin to look like skin and I like my natural skin to come through um, but I do have quite a bit, bit of discoloration on my neck um, and also just under my eyes as well I wouldn't say that I've got a lot under my eyes but I have like the tiniest little bit sorry I keep looking down and like trying to <laughs> keep my mirror I'll try and use the monitor on my camera to like blend this in but yeah I just find that it kind of brightens my under eyes gets rid of any discoloration and this concealer as well doesn't dry down too quick so you have plenty of play time with it which is what I like I've used concealers in the past where I've put it on in the areas that I want to conceal and then I've gone in with a sponge or a, gone in with a sponge and it's not been able to blend it out because it's just been too dry so it's just not been too dry it's dried down too quick rather so I kind of just like take my little finger and like my pinky like right here I don't know whether you can see on camera but I have some really fine lines just here and sometimes I find that this is where my concealer sinks into but I just kind of find that by lightly tapping with my little finger it just kind of like blends everything out um so that the concealer doesn't sink into those lines at all so there we go and then oops, so clumsy i drop everything all the time i'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer i put my ring light in such the wrong place so i keep covering it with my mirror i'm just going to go in with my concealer on my chin and a little bit on my forehead as well and a tiny little bit down my nose just to do a little bit of highlighting nothing major really and then I'll just like blend that in so I have to keep checking in the mirror because I can't always see what's going off in the monitor blend it all in my nose there we go so I think that is my base completed I'm really happy with that this is something that obviously that this is an everyday makeup routine i love doing 
um, this on my face. I feel like it doesn't feel like I've got anything on my face. I feel like my skin looks really fresh. Um, and it just kind of makes me look more alive, I think. Um, which is what I want. Especially first thing in the morning. Like I look like an absolute state first thing in the morning. I look like Shrek. So just doing this. This helps me feel and look a little bit more human. There we go. So sorted. So that is my concealer and my foundation done. The next thing that I'm going to go in with is my bronzer. So what I'm going to be using is this palette here. So this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Threesome Palette. And if I can open it, as you can see, it's a bronzer, blusher and highlighter. Um, and these are absolutely stunning. I think this was released like the late last year, beginning of this year. Um, and I really love it. Like it just gives me... It's, this is perfect for travelling as well. Um, I actually took this away with me. Um, was it back in February when myself and my boyfriend went away for a few nights? And it was just so travel friendly. Um, I really, I really love little palettes like this. I do have other bronzers, highlighters and blushes, but they're all like single pan ones. They're not in a trio like this. Um, so if you're looking for a new bronzer, highlighter and a blush, it, obviously we can't be travelling at the minute because of what is going on in the world. Um, but if you ever, at some point in the future when everything has kind of gone back to normal and we are allowed to go away and things like that and you feel like you're going to go away on holiday or staying over somewhere for the night and you want something that's super travel friendly then I do recommend that you get your hands on this palette it's not the cheapest palette by any means um I think I, I think I paid anywhere between I think it was 20 and 30 pound I think I can't exactly remember the correct price um but it is just I just absolutely do you know I'm starting I'm starting to become converted to Urban Decay like I've never really been an Urban Decay user um until recently and I've heard a lot of good things about their all nighter spray um and like other products that they do like their lipsticks and their mascaras and things like that and I thought I would give it a try um and I'm actually really loving them like it's just so, like their products are just so nice. So the brush that I am using to apply um, my bronzer is my Bare Minerals brush. Um, I love this brush, it's kind of like tapered. I don't know whether you can see if I move to the side. It's kind of tapered at the top. So it's perfect for kind of like getting right in there with your cheek and giving, giving you quite a defined look, um, which is what I like. And also I'm just going to go a little bit down my neck as well, just to warm me up a little bit. And then with any excess that's on the brush, I kind of go across my nose um, and just all over the face, just to kind of like tie everything in together. So I am super, I could get my hair out of my face, I am super happy with that. Um, it's just giving me like a really nice bronzy glow, which I absolutely love. So the next thing that I'm going to go in with, I'm just going to be using the same palette for the purposes of this. Um, I always wear like the same makeup for my everyday wear if I was going out to the shops or if I was going to work, which I'm not at the minute. But then again, like if Adam and I have been going out for walks and stuff, like I have been wearing a little bit of makeup just to make myself feel a bit normal. So I do have other like bronzes blushes and highlighters that i do use but typically for my everyday i put on a bit of foundation a bit of concealer bronzer a bit of blusher um and a bit of highlight i fill my brows in do a quick quick a quick a quick sweep <laughs> a quick sweep with bronzer on my eyes um just to kind of like give my eyes a little bit more definition i never ever go heavy with the makeup um when i'm doing my everyday makeup i don't like to look heavy during the day um but at night time if i was going out then i would obviously do um heavier eye makeup um, and have a bit more play around with the um eye makeup as well and kind of do my bronzer and my blusher a little bit more heavier just to 
just just for the night time you know so what i'm going to do is go in with the blusher in this palette so i'll pick it up again yes yeah, so i'm just going going in with the blusher in this palette on this um duo fiber brush from the body shop tapping off the excess i like to keep my blusher quite high up my cheek because i kind of find i find that it gives my face a bit of a lift so I'm just going to go up towards the temples and then drag any excess down onto the apples of my cheeks. And I just find that it, you probably can't tell in this light, I need to get my angles right. <laughs> so yeah, I just find that it by kind of putting it up here and kind of bringing it towards my temples, it just kind of gives me more of a lift. And then I put any excess that's left on the brush onto the apples of my cheeks and just bring blend blend everything in with my bronzer so it all looks nice and seamless and then again for the other side tapping off the excess maybe a little bit more than that there we go tapping off the excess and then just dusting it up towards the temples and then any down onto the apples of my cheeks just to make sure that I'm evened up and it just gives me a nice little rosy glow which is what I like and then also with any excess on my brush as I did with my bronzer I go over the bridge of my nose just to tie everything in together a little bit down my neck across my forehead there's hardly anything left on this brush so it's just to make sure that we're all looking seamless all looking fresh faced and that is that so I'm actually really happy with this how this base is coming together so the last thing that I want to do is just put a bit of highlighter on where's my highlighter brush so I'm just grabbing this brush um it is from BH Cosmetics I've actually picked this up in TK Maxx out of a set um but I don't exactly know the name of the brush but it's got a number four written on the handle um but I just find that this is a really good um blush blush brush for highlighting with so i'm just gonna pick up some on the brush wow that was dusty <laughs> so and i'm just gonna go on the high points of my cheeks and kind of i tend to be very precise with my highlighter i tend to just kind of put it on the highlight High, high points of my cheeks rather Gee, I can't even speak today what is wrong with me I just put mine on the high points of my cheeks and just kind of drag it up onto my eye brow bone brow bone what am I talking about and I don't know whether you can see that or not this bro I think I need to go to bed and start again tomorrow that's what i'm thinking <laughs> i'm just gonna tell you know whether you could this hot start again right this highlighter <laughs> is quite a subtle highlight but i don't mind that i'm just going to go in again i can build it up which is what i like to do that will do for now and then i go down the center of my nose on the cupid's bow pick up a little bit more And then just above my brow. And then on the other side of my cheek. Oh, on my other cheek, not the other. And there we go. I don't know whether you can see that glow or not. But look. Like you see round about here. It's just giving me like a really nice healthy glow. So what I'm going to quickly do is set it with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is just a travel size one that I picked up. Let that dry. I just want to make sure that my face, my makeup isn't going to be moving all day. And I, I found that this is actually, they. I never believed the hype around this product. Um, until I actually tried it out for myself and I actually genuinely do find that this is actually the best setting spray on the market that I've ever used um it really does keep my makeup locked in place all day which is what I want the one thing that I don't want to be doing is going about my day and then having to stop because touch up my makeup like I can't be doing that um 
I've just got too many, just better things to do than be touching my makeup up. I just want to chuck my makeup on in the morning, get it all set in place, go about my day and not have to worry about it. So I really do believe the hype around this setting spray. It's so, so good. I can't recommend it enough. Now, now I'm going to go on to do my eyes actually. And what I do for my eyes for my everyday routine is just something that's super, super simple. Again, I'll just go back in with the bronzer that I have been using for my face and for this brush. So for my eyes, what I like to do for everyday simple makeup is just to put a little bit of bronzer in the crease of my eye. Um, and I just kind of find that it gives my eye a little bit more definition. It also, I've got quite um what you call it like lazy eye like hooded eyes rather um and i just like to put a bit here because i kind of feel that it lifts it a little bit so the brush that i love using and i've only just recently discovered this is the real techniques deluxe crease brush and it looks like this and it's got quite a flat top on it too i just find that that's perfect for getting in there um and just to kind of it gave my eye a nice wash of colour. So what I'm going to do is I've just dipped dip my brush in there, tap off any excess. I'm just going to come a little bit closer just to show you guys. In fact, I'll zoom you in so you can see. There we go. And I just like to work and just do window motions like that. And then I drag any excess onto my lid. I just find that that gives me a really nice wash of colour. And just helps to define my eye really. This makes me look like I've got something on and that I have made a bit of an effort. And just do the other eye. Hey everyone, so I had to stop my camera and stop filming because I thought at one point that I'd actually somehow stop recording. Um, so I, as you can see, I do look a little bit different. What I did while I was actually watching the footage back, uh, it turns out that I was recording, which is good because otherwise I would have been really annoyed if I'd have had to have taken everything off and then gone and started back again. So what I have done whilst I was off camera is I've actually started to fill in one eyebrow just to save a little bit of time. So the products that I love to use in my eyebrows are the Benefit Give Me Brow, which looks like this. Now, as you can see, it is just used and abused. I use mine in the shade three just to brush through my brows. I've also moved my ring light as well just to give me um, better light. I need to play around with my lighting and get used to filming because... Um, <laughs> This is a whole new ball game for me, but we'll get there in the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to brush this, um, give me brow, through my brows. Now, my eyebrows are really uneven. They're naturally like that. So the right side of my face, my eye is slightly smaller and my eyebrow is slightly lower compared to the left side of my face. And I have got so much flack for that in the um, from from some people it's my face is just not symmetrical um but you know what i've learned to embrace that um and i'm not too bothered i know that your eyebrows should not be twins anyway but you know what mine are just not related um and i'm not bothered i, I just don't care embrace it so what i've done is i've just brushed the gimme brow through my brow just to give me a little bit more um coverage like my I have over plucked my eyebrows over the years and I don't really have a lot there um but what I tend to find is that if I put this product through um it kind of gives me a lot more colour um to build upon and then my mascara is rolling away from me this next thing that I am so happy that I found it so this is by W7 and it is called the stroke of genius and what it is it's an eyebrow pencil whether you can see it there there we go and so on the one end you've got a really skinny brow pencil which is fabulous for doing really um like hair like strokes and then on the other end you've just got a spoolie 
um, so you can just brush all the product through your brow. Now, if you have ever used the Benefit Precisely My Brow, which I have, and I absolutely love that, but it's £20, and £20 I just find is a lot of money to spend on an eyebrow pencil. Um, and a few months ago, I was in the range, and they have a W7 stand, and I saw this, and I was like, oh my God, if you are looking for a affordable eyebrow pencil that is exactly like um, the Precisely My Brow, my brow by benefit um then this is one for you it only costs two pounds and i'm shocked the only thing is is it, it only comes in three colors i'm using the shade dark brown um i know that the benefit um brow pencil i'm sorry i'm like so bad at my angles um i'm just gonna like fill in my brows um as i talk I know that benefit and um, they do their eyebrow um products in different shades um in different shades they have a lot more of a shade range um so i'm actually quite lucky that i can get away with just the dark brown which means that i can just use um the w7 product but you know i just it's just amazing i absolutely love it and it's just so perfect for just filling in any sparse sparse areas and just giving my eyebrow a lot more definition one thing that i really would like to have done and i've never had it done before um is actually to get my eyebrows um dyed and actually colored just to see what that looks like now a whole i know that there's this whole trend going around at the minute and um, to get your eyebrows laminated which i'm not really too fussed about i just kind of want my eyebrows to look a bit darker um because my eyebrows are really quite light and considering that i have dark hair i know that i've got blonde running through my hair but if you see any of my roots my, that is my, my natural color Um i just kind of want my eyebrows to be a little bit more defined i haven't had them waxed for the past couple of years and what i normally tend to do is just pluck them myself um but jesus christ they really are not related today Oops. oh well you get the gist um <laughs> I, tend, I, I tend to find that i can do my makeup a lot better when i'm not talking to a camera <laughs> but anyway you do get the gist um of what it's like it's filled in my eyebrows really nice um compared to like when i first started this video i looked like i had no eyebrows at all um i'm just gonna leave it at that really it's half past seven in the evening and i'm going to go get my dinner in a bit and i'm going to wash this off so i'm not it's not like i'm going out anywhere so i'm not too bothered but yeah um i just absolutely love these two products together um now i'm just gonna go in last two things that i'm going to do is just put a bit of mascara on and then also fill in my lips so with mascara i'm not really i do have a few um and i've just realized that they're all high end i tend to either use the Too Faced better than sex mascara um I love the Benefit Bad Girl Bang. I've been using the Benefit Roller Lash recently. I've got the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I love them all. Um, but for today, I'm just gonna chuck on the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a little um, travel size one. It's not a full size. I can't even remember where I got this from. Um, I think out of all of the mascaras that I have used, I think this is my favorite trying to use my mirror the wrong way around there we go there's myself i'm trying to look at that bit to do my makeup like what oh, i give up <laughs> right so i'm just gonna chuck this on i do love this mascara because it really does lengthen sorry i'm trying to make sure that i'm in shot it really does lengthen my eyelashes and also gives them some really nice volume as well which is what i really love um there's me like looking at the monitor oh god how gorgeous do i look so basically um as you can see i've just got the mascara on my right eye at the minute and i just find that it just makes my really just make my eyes look a lot wider and just a lot more awake and yeah i just really love this mascara um so that is my eyelashes done and i just they look my eyes look a lot better a lot a lot more awake what i'm going to do now is just to finish off this look and tie everything together is to do my lips and i'm just gonna zoom you out so you can see me properly so the product okay, that so i am using today for my lips is the maybelline superstay ink crayon 
she looks like this and it, this one is in the shade lead the way so i just i prefer um to wear like a pinky nude um color on my lips for the day i've actually sharpened it as well it's got a little sharpener at the end um it is really good so it gives me i can't talk while i'm doing my lips i'll do my lips first and then i'll talk that is the makeup done for today and that that is the lips and these ink crayons, I'm very wary about using anything that's matte on my lips because, again, my skin is dry. But these lip crayons are so creamy um, and they glide on really easy as well. Um, and I think I... Yeah, so that is the finished look, which I am super happy with. In fact, okay, so that is the finished look um, and that is my everyday makeup. So... I don't really like to wear a lot. I kind of feel that this is like quite natural for me, um, which is what I like throughout the day. And this is just absolutely perfect um, for when I go to work, um, if I'm going shopping, um, running errands, that kind of thing. And um, that is it for today's video. So obviously, if you did like um, what I did today, um, in terms of like showing you how I did my everyday makeup look, then I would really love it if you would smash that thumbs up button. And also, if you want to see more of me in the future, then I'd be really um, happy if you would subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. As it's getting quite late in the evening, all the natural light is going, so I am going to go now and get my dinner. I hope you are all staying safe and well, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!